Hello friends, today we are going to discuss one of the important sub theme in biomolecule chapter, lipids, its classification and different structures. Lipids. What are lipids? They are the most important and chief concentrated reserve form of energy. And they are heterogeneous organic compounds which are relatively insoluble in water but soluble in organic solvents like alcohol and ether and potentially related to fatty acids. The three important points, lipids are insoluble in water, soluble in organic solvents like alcohol and ether, and potentially related to fatty acids. Fatty acids. They are heterogeneous compounds. You know, this is very important. Heterogeneous compounds. Unlike proteins, nucleic acids, carbohydrates, Lipids are simple compounds. Say for example, nucleic acids, they are polymers. Proteins, they are polymers of amino acids. Carbohydrates, say for instance, starch. They are all polymers. But lipid is a simple organic substance. This is very important. And it distinguishes it from other biomolecules. With respect to classification, there are different criteria for classification. But the basis, the crux point for being a lipid is fatty acid plus alcohol. Fatty acid plus alcohol. These are the two important components in a lipid. Any alcohol like glycerol, spingosine, any other alcohol. But these are the two components. Based on the complexity of the structure in the way of addition of additional compounds like nitrogenous substances, carbohydrates and other groups like phosphoric acid for instance, that means phosphates. There are different lipids in the way of a simple classification we can discuss. But fatty acid and alcohol are the important primary substances or core substances in a lipid. Okay, with respect to classification. As I mentioned, depending on the complexity in the way of addition of substances, there are different lipids. First, the simple lipids to the compound lipids or complex lipids. See, the derived lipids for miscellaneous. With respect to simple lipids, there are again of two kinds, fats and oils, triacylglycerol, the important one, waxes, compound lipids are different kinds like phospholipids, They are again of two types, glycerophospholipids, pingophospholipids, glycolipids, lipoproteins, others, say sulfur lipids, etc. Derived lipids are just like say for example glycerol. hormones. This thing is like you know carotenoids, terpenes. It's a broad classification of fats and oils, simple lipids, the fats and oils. That means they are triacylglycerols, they are the basic and core lipids. Waxes, okay, the, the distinguishment between these two is in case of fats and oils, the alcohol is glycerol. Glycerol is a kind of alcohol. And in case of wax, it is called aliphatic. That means any alcohol 
other than glycerol say aliphatic alicyclic for example cetyl alcohol cetyl alcohol what is the distinction between a fat and oil with respect to chemicals formula they are same triacyl glycerol that means a fatty acid esterification with or glycerol i told you already the basic of the core components in a lipid is fatty acids and alcohol here the fatty acids the alcohol is glycerol and this has been ester that means esterification of fatty acid with glycerol or fats and oils the thing is they are physically different fat is a solid at room temperature oil is a liquid that means simply called esterification of fatty acids with glycerol this is very important here the thing is same esterification of fatty acids with alcohol other than glycerol maybe an aliphatic say alicyclic exams with alcohol that's important then complex or compound lipid phospholipids that are i told you already based on the addition of additional compounds so the the name it implied phospho here the additional compound is a phosphate group phosphate group that means the point is compound that means additional apart from a fatty acid and alcohol phosphate is an is a, is an addition group and is a main important group apart from it nitrogenous substances are also present nitrogenous substances here yeah. but phosphate is main say phosphoric acid we'll discuss in later on what they put the structures okay like phosphoric acid okay glycerol that means in phospholipids again based on the kind of alcohol glycerol means here yeah, the alcohol is glycerol pingo means pingo sign the name of the alcohol is pingo sign say pingo myelins pingo myelins is an example of pingo phospholipids for for us for glycerol phospholipids say lecithin lecithin cephalin i will draw the structures later on but it for 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 now about classification okay lecithin and cephalin are the important examples for glycerol phospholipids whereas pingo myelin because it contains pingo sign and alcohol in place of glycerol that's like glycerol to the glycerol phospholipids pingo sign to the pingo phospholipids so depending on the kind of alcohol again there are two kinds the glycerol phospholipids that means phospholipids are again two times based on the kind of alcohol glycerol phospholipids like here the alcohol is glycerol pingo phospholipids here the alcohol is pingo sign then glycolipids simply the additional compound is a carbohydrate the name it implied glyco the word is with regard to carbohydrates you know nitrogenous substances are also present here just like the phospholip phosphate the in case of phospholipids carbohydrates and nitrogenous substances are also present lipoprotein there are different lipoproteins like you know ldls vldls hdls thylomicron LDLs they are called bad cholesterol. Plus HDLs are called good cholesterol. We'll discuss why it is considered as a bad. That means the LDL low density lipids as bad cholesterol and high density lipids as good cholesterol. But for now, simply because LDLs they promote atherosclerosis, a most dangerous coronary heart disease. But as HDLs high density lipids they act against the atherosclerosis that's why they are considered as good cholesterol HDL high density otherwise called highly desirable lipids lipoproteins whereas LDLs lethally dangerous lipoproteins I will discuss later on what's okay and these are about glycolipids the lipoproteins and others there are different types like you know sulfur example of other just but these are the major group derived lipids for example glycerol steroids derived the main the name it implied 
the substances deriving from group 1 and group 2 say the fatty acids glycerols alcohols like sphingosine even steroid hormones are all considered as a derived liquids derived from the mother sources miscellaneous like carbonates and fragments they are large you know complex of I mean, it's like a wide variety of compounds coming under the head of miscellaneous like carbonates and terpenes for instance but other there is another uh, classification like you know neutral lipids for example cholesterol because they are non-polar because of its non-polar nature they are considered as a neutral lipid. so it about different it's, it's about different I mean, overview of lipid classification the, 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 the theme is simple fatty acid and alcohol is, are the core elements depending on the additional compounds and the kind of additional compounds if it is phosphate phospholipids if it is carbohydrate glycolipids if it is protein lipoproteins likewise and depending on the kind of alcohol for example in fats and oils which are triacylglycerols there the alcohol is glycerol but as in case of waxes the alcohol is sphingosine sorry that means any other that other any other alcohol other than the glycerol sphingosine is also one say aliphatic alcohol alicyclic alcohols like some acetyl alcohol so depending on the kind of alcohol and depending on the additional compounds or the depending on the kind of additional compounds lipid classification has been done okay then as we discuss structures are very important along with biochemical function in a coordinate fa fashion we have to learn about this you know i told you already the core element of a lipid are fatty acids and alcohol fatty acids and alcohol we all knew that lipids are insoluble why they are insoluble because of a hydrocarbon chain a long hc chain simply called because of this hydrocarbon chain they are insoluble okay here the mass the master element called fatty acids you have to learn about different fatty acids because anything comes from it only fatty acids it consists of simply called a carboxyl group a carboxyl group and a hydrocarbon group that means chain for instance that means hydrocarbon and carboxyl they are the two elements in a fatty acid i told you already why lipids are hydrophobic why they are relatively insoluble in water because of hydrocarbon chain and you know fatty acid for example generally the word is discuss about general structure say as i told you fats and oil which are triacylglycerols in the simple form of lipids out of which fat acid is important say triacylglycerol what are you about that triacyl glycerol that means you, you, you can see triacyl esterification of fatty acids that means triacyl this is triacyl glycerol the kind of glycerol in a that in a fat or oil is triacyl glycerol the only thing is it is solid fat is a solid or is a liquid that's it say another example if you know about this and you can draw any structure it is called one comma two diacylglycerol take another example as i told you if you know how to draw a basic structure then it for you it is easy to concentrate and to draw other structure this is called one monoacylglycerol 
if it is here to mono acyl glycerol simple where the uh, acyl group is present that means where the esterification has been done if it is a three position tri acyl glycerol if it is two say one comma two or if it is only one where one acyl glycerol one mono acyl glycerol or two mono acyl glycerol this is how the issue ends the only thing is you have to draw then you have to learn about this structure this is a basic master lipid structure what the master fat the structure that one should learn so if, if, if you know then you can draw the remaining structures okay this is about the basic element and as i told you already how and what type what kind of fat acids are there you know there are different kinds of fat acids the broadly the fat acids can be classified into two categories saturated fatty acids and unsaturated fatty acids simple if there is a double bond they are unsaturated if there is a single bond they are saturated then we will we will discuss about first we get some examples you know acetic acid i told you already carboxyl and hydro and hydrocarbon chain simply ch3 coh propionic acid then butyric acid just you need to extend by addition of ch2 group that's it valeric acid caproic acid caprylic acid capric acid lauric acid palmitic acid stearic acid these are different saturated acids that is saturated fat acid at all already a carboxyl group and hydrocarbon chain based on the number of hydrocarbon chains the kind of uh, saturated fat acid seven that means number say ch2 one ch2 two three four like that just different fat acid element how much when compared to fatty acid say saturated fat there are relatively less unsaturated fat acid the most important is linolenic acid and linolenic acid the importance of these two these they are pufas of course unsaturated otherwise called pufas they are essential essential fatty acids we told you we have discussed with respect to amino acids essential what exactly the term essential implies they have to be supplied through diet through diet because our enzymatic machinery doesn't support that means we our enzyme cannot incorporate to add double bonds beyond c9 to c10 carbons up to c10 carbon only we can add double bond our enzymes but later on what there are no enzymes to add double bonds beyond c9 to c10 carbons so it is indispensable to depend on diet for these that is why they are considered as essential why they are considered as pufas polyunsaturated fatty acids but what is the distinction between these two you know if there is one double bond there are mufas 
mono unsaturated fatty acids if there is two or more they are known as ufa simply poly that means if the number of double bond is just one mono unsaturated fatty acids if the number of double bond is two or more than two then as ufas poly unsaturated fatty acids example linoleic acid and linoleic acid they are also their essential fatty acids which has to be supplied to diet so these are what different fatty acids you know and its structure and you know how they are written how they, for example you know this is a basic and for understanding how they write in respect to formula we have to study for better understanding i told you already they are for carboxyl group and a hydrocarbon chain say it's a carboxyl group it's a hydrocarbon chain say there are four hydrocarbon chains that means caproic acid caproic acid okay this is first carbon second carbon that means what we call naming okay naming this is third this is fourth this is fifth this is sixth from carboxyl group and if it is from methyl group then omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 omega 4 likewise it is it is otherwise called alpha beta gamma delta epsilon it's about naming of fatty acid and how and from where that been the starting point is very important in understanding different structures of fatty acids okay then we have to discuss about different different structures different structure that means important structures of lipids we have learned already we have learned about fats and all that been triacylglycans and then the most important structure when in a case of examination point of view and also a basics point of view that compound lipids i told you already compound lipids the first important compound lipid say phospholipids phospholipids say for instance this is one of the first important phospholipids phosphatidic acid is called phosphatidic acid that mean the kind of phosphoric acid the example is phosphatidic acid let's take another example Choline. This is lecithin. Another example. This ethyl amine. This sepalin. Okay. See, the common point in phosphatidic acid, in lecithin and sepalin, they are all considered as glycerophospholipids. There are glycerophospholipids. Glycerophospholipids. I told you already. Phospholipids are again of two kinds: glycerol phospholipids. Here the alcohol is glycerol. Spingo phospholipids. Here the alcohol is spingo sign. Spingo myelin is an example of glycerol phospholipids. Okay. But as in case of 
phosphoric acid and lecithin there is additional group that means apart from glycerol there are certain distinctive characters based on it we can have to name accordingly for example in lecithin the additional compound the important the distinguishing compound is choline lecithin and in case of cephalon it is ethyl amine so that means based on the nature of organic compounds there are different glycerophospholipids you know these are all important phospholipids because phospholipids are important compounds of cell membrane we are doing that and they play an essential role in regulation of membrane permeability phospholipids are the important constituents of membrane permeability so epithelial put <coughs> the structure it is this and they have diversified function okay and is one example then take another compound lipids are the important compound lipids they are known as glycolipids you know glycolipids the name it implied the additional compound is carbohydrate the additional compound is carbohydrate yet nitrogenous substances are also present nitrogenous substances are also present that means in addition to fatty acid plus alcohol of course here the alcohol is sphingosine sphingosine is the best example for glycolipid you know they have essential roles for example you no know, apart from their role in cell membrane structure that means there is important cellular component that means cell membrane structure they are also important components in nervous tissues nervous tissues you know the word cerebroside cerebroside it has the essential structural components in a nervous tissue so glycolipids are indispensable and important you know uh, compound lipids then another another kind of lipids important lipids for our discuss is lipoproteins you know here the additional compound is a protein lipoproteins protein is the additional compound that means apart from fatty acid and alcohol which is otherwise called lipid it's a combination of a lipid and protein or this is already chylomicrons examples then vldls very density low lipids low lipoprotein simply called ldls low density lipoproteins hdls high density lipoprotein you know ldl is otherwise called lethally dangerous lethally dangerous but as hdls are called highly desirable highly desirable they are called as bad cholesterol is good cholesterol why they are considered as bad we, are, we have already discussed low density lipids lethally dangerous lipids it leads to atherosclerosis the important coronary heart disease and how they come to its action you know it's like they transport fats from liver to other organ this is very important that means these two are involving in transport of lipid lipids simply called transport of fats you know ldls from liver to other organs whereas high density lipids they bring fat from peripheral tissues from peripheral tissues to liver this is very important reverse function low density lipids from liver to other organs whereas high density lipids from peripheral tissues to liver and high density lipids are otherwise called good cholesterol because they act against atherosclerosis 
Whereas low density lipoprotein, the is called bad cholesterol, they, they are considered as bad cholesterol because they promote or they, they induce atherosclerosis. So there are, these are about different lipoproteins, you know. And one of the most important components, whenever we heard about the term fatty acids or lipids or fats, we have to discuss about one important structure called cholesterol, simply called steroids. You know, steroids are one of the steroid hormones. They are the derived lipids. Say steroids. There are different kinds of steroids, but protein structure, you know, the master, the steroid, what we call steroid nucleus is called steroid nucleus. This is called steroid nucleus. You know, there are different, for example, most important example, cholesterol and ergosterol. Cholesterol exclusively found in animals. Ergosterol in plants. Say cholesterol. We will draw the structure of cholesterol. Say in the steroid nucleus, this is steroid nucleus. This is the basic structure of a cholesterol, so just based on the steroid nucleus, you know. And cholesterol are the important sources of fat soluble vitamins, we knew that. And cholesterol are the important structural components of cell membrane, you know. And they derive strict sex hormones like androgen, estrogen and also the cortisol. Ergosterol are present in plants. So th that means steroids, they essentially involved in cell day-to-day -day life activities in the way of metabolic activities. And cholesterol is so important in this regard. Because it acts as a precursor substance by, with respect to you know, steroid hormones, for example, androgen and, and estrogen. Okay? And these are both steroids. And another important con structures concept we have to learn with respect to lipids A is Amphipathic lipids, you know, amphipathic lipids, amphipathic lipids. For example, phospholipids, they both have a hydrophobic end. Oh, the fatty acid is best. Another example for illustration. And a hydrophilic. Conventionally, hydrophilic groups present periphery or outwards, present hydrophobic inwards, inside. Take for example, a phospholipid. You know, these are all hydrophilic heads and they are take the aqua space for example and they are hydrophobic tails. The same case of fatty acids also. For example, in case of fatty acids, hydrophilic carboxyl group and hydrophobic hydrocarbon chain. That means it has two and for example fatty acid, the hydrophilic head, what we call carboxyl group, plus hydrophobic tail, hydrocarbon chain. So it act as, since it have both elements are called amphipathic lipids. They are essential because in cell membrane structure, they play an essential role. We have discussed already the structural components and also the cell membrane regulation as well. When these amphipathic lipids, they, when they dissolve in water, they form mycelia. 
simply how they and what exactly the mycelia <coughs> The mycelia are nothing but when they dissolve in water, the hydrophilic group, the hydrophilic group faces towards the water, whereas the hydrophobic end turns to the opposite end. That's it. From the rocket science, simply this is aqueous phase, this is non polar. That means this is it. This is hydrophilic phase is aqueous and the hydrophobic. This is hydrophobic phase is inward. That means opposite direction. This is, this is the basic structure of mycelium. Okay. So on the whole, lipids are cons. You know, the, the the basic constituents in lipid are fatty acids and alcohol. So based on the additional compounds and different kinds of alcohols, they have different functions and different structures are possible. Like particularly the compound lipids. Okay. And I hope you uh, you may like, comment, and share. My objective is to search for them fully, need to understand. Okay. <coughs> <Watch it. coughs>